Well, we might as well head down, I suppose. 30 years ago, Tony Bamonte did the impossible. He went right to the spot that I thought it would be, and that's where it was. He found the murder weapon that solved the cold case from 1935. It appears to be a 32 caliber, and that's what the marshal was shot. He was shot four times with a 32 caliber pistol. Justice for fallen officer George Conniff. He follows every story, really in depth, as far as he can go. Last week, Bamonte died of pancreatic cancer. Tony's like a second father to me. He's ornery and hilarious um, and incredibly passionate about anything that he does. Well, that's a good picture, see? But let's rewind. All the way back to 1942. Bamonte grew up in Ponderay County and started working hard labor jobs from an early age. He learned a lot of lessons about uh, how life is sometimes unfair. and. Um, I think he took all of that and turned it into compassion in all of the work that he did. After a two-year stint in Vietnam, Bamonte moved to Spokane and became a motorcycle officer. Basically, he would have survived as a gunslinger back in the Old West. I mean, he was, he was a dead eye with a pistol. But he also had a soft side. A city prosecutor complimented him for leaving positive notes on the tickets he wrote while patrolling, saying even though defendants are often found guilty, they are left with kindly feelings towards the department. He put everything into anything that he did. In 78, Ponderay County elected him sheriff. He dedicated himself to the community for 12 years, in this ad even giving out his home phone number. Tony's a relentless when it comes to following a story. Uh, he just will not give up until he gets to the end. Which was how he brought justice to so many, and how he became a great historian. After retiring from the police force, Bamonte started writing books about Spokane's history, along with his wife, Suzanne. Tony wrote on early Spokane history, the Davenport Hotel, Manitou Park, uh, the mining district in um, Coeur d'Alene. All to keep this area's history alive. Tony will take a place in history, in Spokane history. Uh, he was the giant of his time, one of the great sheriffs and one of the most honorable policemen that we've had in our, our region's history.